Thank you, Madam President. It's a pleasure to see you up there. I'd like to thank um, the Majority Leader, first of all, for bringing this resolution to the floor and thank all of our colleagues for supporting this resolution, um, congratulating a very important environmental figure uh, in New York State and in the Hudson Valley, Paul Gallet, upon his retirement from the president of Riverkeeper, um, which is New York's clean water advocate. Um, Paul has uh, been an advocate for the environment. He's been an enforcement official for nearly 30 years and, and has been a dedicated uh, public servant to the people of New York State and to the Hudson Valley. So Paul earned his bachelor's degree from Williams College and his law degree from Columbia Law School. He then worked in private practice for a number of years, but his focused environmental work really began when he went to work for the New York State Attorney General in 1987, where he served for four years. And then for the next decade, Paul worked with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. And it was there that he held hundreds of corporate and government polluters accountable and spent the next 10 years in land conservation. And that's originally where uh, our paths intersected. I was a Westchester County legislator and Paul was the head of the Westchester Land Trust. Um, but it was then in 2010 um, when Paul was uh, hired by Riverkeeper uh, to be his president. And in this capacity, uh, this was really where Paul stood out and made his mark um, on New York State environmental policy. Uh, he continually strived to fulfill Riverkeeper's mission of protecting and restoring the Hudson River from source to sea and safeguarded drinking water supplies for over 10 million New Yorkers. And as somebody whose district encompasses the east of Hudson New York City watershed, that was such vital work, such smart policy work, and I was really proud to have worked with him over those years on, on those issues. Um, Paul was especially good at bringing people together, collaboration, stakeholders from different parts of the community, even different parts of an issue, people who were diametrically opposed in their issues. Paul was very gifted and patient at working with everybody. Under Paul's leadership, Riverkeeper, uh, the team of more than 90 environmental leaders expanded their groundbreaking water quality testing program to include hundreds of new sites, and they developed New York's largest shoreline cleanup and restoration program. They established the first ever Hudson River Dam Removal Initiative and helped pass transformative legislation to protect our communities, uh, coastal communities, and ecosystems from climate change. In 2017, Paul was at the center of the successful negotiation to close the Indian Point nuclear power plant. He lobbied for billions in infrastructure funding and fought tirelessly, tirelessly for New York State's landmark 2014 ban on hydrofracking. He was also very central to the laws that we passed yesterday, our Clean Water Wetlands Bill, and last year, our Class C Streams Protection Bill, both historic measures in New York State, and both have uh, the, the mark of Riverkeeper's leadership uh, and collaboration and stakeholders uh, coming together to pass those legislation uh, right here in this chamber. So we are grateful for Paul's 30-year uh, commitment to environmental policy and environmental stewardship, but it's important to know that, that uh, Mr. Gallet is not retiring completely uh, it's just not in his DNA. Uh, academia still works, uh, looms large in his future, as is his commitment to um, tackling climate change and resiliency in our coastal communities. So I'm pleased to say that Paul will still be around, will still be working hard, but we wanted to take this opportunity to thank him for his 30 plus year uh, commitment to public service and his very successful 11 year run as president, as riverkeeper. Thank you, Madam President.